Good morning, you guys. Welcome to the vlog. Happy Sunday. It is day one here in Orlando, Florida. So we are staying at the Cabana Bay Beach Resort. My room looks something like this, and I'm about to go meet my parents for breakfast. This is the uh, current outfit of the day. I'll give you a quick overview in the mirror. I also forgot proper hair bobble, so I can only do a bun at the moment until <laughs> I like, wash it and straighten it and everything. But I, I showered, but I was like, mm, my hair's not like, you know when it's not ready to wash yet, and if you start washing it loads, it's just gonna be a problem. It's one of those days. So this is the outfit of the day. This is from other stories. This is Zara. Bag is Louis Vuitton. Shoes are Converse. I was gonna take a cardigan with me, but now I'm like, ah, oh, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, this is the look. Look at my breakfast. Sophie got waffles and bacon, and Mum got a chocolate, uh, a chocolate, no, a ham and, what is it? Ham and cheese croissant. Oh no, and Dad got a full breakfast. We came to the Bayside Diner for breakfast, which is like a kind of canteen style restaurant, but I mean, very excited about this. Oh my gosh, I left my sunglasses in the room and it was a bad idea. We just walked outside and it's so nice. There's fire pits out here to roast like marshmallows on, so we're gonna go get a s'mores kit later and do that. And oh my gosh, the pool looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Look, there are the fire pits where you can roast s'mores and in the gift shop they have s'mores kits. We've got the pool down there. Oh my gosh, so this is the hotel. Now, Sophie and mum and dad are up there somewhere and I'm just around the corner. Oh my gosh. Oh, here she is. I just went and got my sunglasses and we were just running down the corridor going, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Which is so funny because it's SpongeBob and SpongeBob is uh, at the Universal Park, which is really cool. So these lifts go straight down to the pool. So I, I saw them and I was like, that goes to my room. I was like, mum, dad, I'm going. <gasps> Ow, look, see my family bullying me. Um, <laughs> we decided to come to Target. Today's like our only proper free day. Sophie's gone in. <laughs> so we come to Target to do a little bit of shopping, a little bit of looking around, haven't we, mum? I really want to buy some shampoo and conditioner just because I like to have what I know. Oh my gosh, the homeware is amazing. This like such a tease so I can take it home. So we're at Minis because I forgot shampoo and conditioner. I also forgot sun cream. How does Emily forget sun cream? I'm like the most careful person with sun cream in the world. So I need to get some SPF 50 because if you're not a sun cream, you might as well do it properly. My shoes are so still wet. Your shoes, she went in the pool in her shoes because of course, of course she did. These all the Minis. What are you getting? Mum still says not. What was it for? Do you put things in it? What have we found? Hot Cheetos. Because who, who who can't believe we've not tried Hot Cheetos? Kenzie. So we're going to try them? Yeah. Jolly Ranchers. I don't think you'll like them. No. They're not really your thing. <gasps> Look, Oreo candy bars. It's like Oreo chocolate. Have you seen like the Oreo Cadbury bars? They're quite cool. Hershey's. Have you ever tried Hershey's? Have you not? So I got this from Target to take into the park so I could just fill it up with water. I really don't like drinking out of plastic so I think that was like a solid idea. Sophie got one too but she got one that was like a different colour but very excited about this. Yours was pink. So my friends, Target has been done. I am now pool ready. I am excited to get outside. I have one of the Shein bikinis on and of course I am tanned with, actually today this is Loving Tan. I switched between Loving Tan and Saint Tropez but I have Loving Tan on today. So yeah, if you were wondering. But do you want to see what I got from Target? It's like a really random bunch of stuff. Firstly, I got a new screen protector for my phone because I keep dropping it and it's just smashed everywhere. I got, like I said, one of these reusable kind of thermos cups. I got some new toothpaste because I tried the one that I bought and it's just not, like you know when your teeth don't feel clean and it's a problem, so I got that. I also got some sun cream for my face. Like I have SPF 30 and stuff. My mom bought plenty and she got SPF 50, which I usually use, but this is just good for over makeup. So I'm gonna use my SPF 50 that I have as a base and then I'll spray this throughout the day. I have some Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo because dry shampoo is a necessity and I forgot it. Got some Kind Bars, some shampoo and conditioner and then just, you know, bits and bobs. So let's pack it all away and head to the pool. So we just found a spot by the pool, haven't we, Mum? Yeah. Just had a spot. We're gonna sit because we're gonna grab some lunch. I'm gonna take Sophie in the pool. So we haven't got some beds at the minute, but um, that's because like obviously we're here so late is so everyone's by the pool. But we want to eat some food anyway, so she's got a table and then we're going to grab some sunbeds later. So I'm going to go in with her. She's sat by the edge of the dam right now. This is without a doubt the best day of the year so far. We've just been in the pool, so we're still in the pool. I think we're going to grab some lunch. It's like, is it 2 o'clock? Maybe nearly 3 now. It's 20 to 3. So it's time to get some food. I mean, we, we all ate so well at breakfast that we've not really actually been hungry. 
So yeah, there was, there's like the hideaway bar grill by the pool here, so I think we might go there, which sounds very good. Or we can order pizza, you can order pizza from anywhere in the resort, like to be delivered anywhere in the resort. Two rooms, to like the table right here. Oh, so extra, love it. Lunch time, we've got pizza, garlic breadsticks, and mac and cheese. Yum. So I just went back to my room, and this was waiting here for me with a little letter. So let's open it and see what it says. Okay, let's open it up. It says Universal Cabana Bay. Emily, welcome to Cabana Bay. We hope you enjoy your stay. Thanks for choosing us for your vacation. Have a swell day. It's from the front office. And they wrote welcome in their own felt tip. How lovely! You've never tried Hershey's, have you? Want to try one? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is what happens when I don't have a tight bobble. But basically, I've just come back to the room and got changed, as you can see. I'm gonna head to the gym. Sophie's gone back into the pool and they're just gonna have one final swim before we get showered and stuff ready for dinner because we're actually going to City Walk for dinner. We've got reservation booked. Wow, I should fix this before I carry on talking to you. Okay, that'll have to do for now. But basically, I have got my gym clothes on because I'm a bit like, not like wound up, but basically it's that time of the month. The time of the month where it's a full moon tomorrow and my periods have actually like sunk up with the moon cycle. So I'm drawing my period tomorrow <laughs> and it's a full moon. Which if you know me or you, I don't know, you know, just it's just a bit like I want to scream. <laughs> but like obviously I'm on holiday so I'm having a really, really lovely time so I just need to go and like de-stress at the gym and then we can go for a lovely dinner. I'm not like in a bad mood or anything like that, but I just, you know when you just feel a, a bit like, oh, I can't explain it, you just feel like very pressured, a bit like, you just feel like <sighs> constantly. And it's like, it's fine, because obviously I've learned to deal with it, because I'm like 21 now, but yeah, it's just a bit intense, a bit of an intense feeling, so I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill at like a super high incline for like half an hour, do some weights, and then come have a shower, redo my makeup, if I have time, I think I'll have time. And I'll feel like a new woman, basically. But just man, the moon, and being a girl, it's just a bit, I feel like if you don't, like if the moon doesn't affect you, then like you won't get it. But I was talking about this with one of my friends literally two days ago, and it's so weird if it does. When I get home, I'm gonna go and talk to someone about it. I'm gonna go and see someone that understands like the moon and its cycles and why it affects certain people. Maybe you used to be a werewolf in a previous life, don't really know, but it's really interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna go find out. But I packed really badly for this trip. I didn't pack a sports bra, so I'm wearing my bikini to the gym because I don't want to wear my Calvin Klein bralette because I want to travel home in that. I don't want it to be like gross and sweaty. And I bought two bikinis, so this is now my workout bikini. And I've got just a hoodie, leggings, and trainers. So, let go. So, I'm all gymmed. Everything, like, the gym's so good. There's everything in there that you'd need. I would show you, but there's people in there. Next time I walk past and there's no one in there, I'll show you. I just feel a bit weird showing people doing their workouts, you know? There's, like... But I think there's like 12 treadmills, there's bikes, there's weights, there's everything. So yeah, it was really, really good. I've just got the same top on that I had on earlier. I've got this cardigan on, which is Primark, my black Levi's mom jeans, and then just some Converse, and I'm ready to head out to City War. We've got a reservation at a restaurant called The Cowfish tonight. I believe that's what it's called. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure, which sounds awesome. I'm very excited. They do all things like, well, fish, obviously, and they do burgers and things like that. It looks at like the menu online so yeah it should be really good so just ride it city walk and it's nuts in there it's so busy it's so big uh, i'll turn around and show you we're literally just about to walk in and i'm just a bit gobsmacked like there's literally everything here look at this what the heck this is incredible. Look how many people there are here. There's literally like a stream of endless people leaving. Look at this milkshake that Sophie's got. Dad got the strawberry one. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely incredible. I'm so jealous you got that. She's also trying to eat edamame, but it's not really working. Look, open your mouth. Right, I'll bite it. Try it, come on. Real shake. It doesn't taste like much. Sophie, you didn't bite any of it off. Come on, eat it. Swallow it. <laughs> She's looking at mum for reassurance that she doesn't have to do it. I can't. Pretend it's beige like chips. I can't. <laughs> 
so I was too hungry to start eating, but I got a cheeseburger, the fries, and Sophie got carrots, so I've stolen her carrots. But this is the kids' meal. She got like chicken bites, fries, it came with carrots, and then there's a little like rice crispy treat here for dessert. It's pretty cool. Look at the cars outside our hotel. We were just joking that there's no way I'd be able to park this. I can barely even park my own car. Pardon? They have flat tyres. They have flat tyres? <laughs> Good spot. That's really cool. These are awesome. So my friends, we are back from dinner. I am so, so tired. We've got a really early start tomorrow. We are meeting downstairs at half past six, which means I've got to get up at half five to get ready and everything. So I'm going to sort everything out tonight. We got our park tickets, which is very exciting. We also, Sophie and I, got an incredible gift, which is we got a wand each. I got Hermione's, she got Harry's, and I think we might be getting some robes tomorrow, which is like next level exciting. I'm like, so like, I can't, I don't know. I'm just a bit like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. So I need to sort out like what outfits I'm taking with me tomorrow. That is like what I need to do right now. I'm thinking this, thinking maybe this as well. Definitely, I mean, I have a lot, I'm not gonna lie, there's quite a bit. <laughs> I, have, I have loads of outfits. And the next two days are when I'm gonna shoot most of my content, which is really, really exciting. So yeah, that is, the, that is what I need to do right now. I need to edit, I need to sort my bag out. I'll let you know what outfits I'm gonna take tomorrow, actually. And uh, yeah, and then gotta get all this stuff off my face and go to bed. So outfits are packed. I've got two dresses, I've got two more t-shirts in here and I've got some shorts. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be wearing this outfit here. So it's the Primark skirt and a Primark top. And then, yeah, I'm gonna change. So really I can use like this top with the shorts as well. I can use this skirt with some of the other tops. I can do quite a few kind of mix and matches. And what I basically do is make sure that all the ma all the outfits match with the same pair of shoes. Because shoes take up way too much space in my bag. Like I don't have room for that. So everything in here matches with my black Converse. And yeah, everything's kind of sorted. All my batteries are on charge right now. So I've got my camera batteries on charge, my portable charger is charging. So yeah, that's pretty much my prep before like a massive day shooting content in like a theme park. I will get up in the morning, do my makeup, my hair, and then I will pack a bunch of makeup away into my, this bag as well. My cameras will go in in the morning along with some food, uh, some sun cream, and plasters, key. Uh, and that's pretty much it, really. I'm gonna take a water bottle, of course, as well but yeah that is pretty much everything for tomorrow i think i think apart from that i'm sort of need to remember to take my wand and which sounds so funny and to take my lanyard which has got my park tickets on but yeah that's so exciting i'm like so it feels so good to like know that i'm sorted i just need to get ready for bed and then we're all good but i do really hope you enjoyed this day one in orlando obviously tomorrow is the first day we're going into the park so I'm very excited we just had a brief overview of everything that's going on and sounds really good so yeah make sure you stay tuned to the vlogs if you want to see what we get up to give it a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it and i'll see you so very soon well tomorrow <laughs> good night see you in the morning